things on the schedule today. First I'm gonna go work a bit at a coffee place. At 12 I'm gonna have lunch with a friend and after that I'm gonna go immediately to Amsterdam to watch a movie called Three Identical Strangers was directed by Tim Wardle. He tells the story of three American men who'd never known each other until the age of 19 where they realized they were actually triplets. You guys have been on the front page of every newspaper in the world. True. True. They were more like clones than they were like brothers. It was a miracle. There was nothing that could keep us apart. That's when things kinda got funky. The movie examines the reason why they discovered each other only at such a late age. So, I spend many hours of my day working on my own things. Over time, I learned the importance of creating myself a suitable environment to do that. For me, this environment is twofold, cozy and productive. Cozy is in making me feel comfortable enough to be grounded and at ease. And productive as in an environment that would enable me to put in work from in within this comfort. So, for example, I cannot work from home. Home to me is a place way too cozy to be productive. And there has to be a balance between the two. And in the Netherlands, I found this balance here a chain called Coffee Company that found itself a loving spot in my heart. At noon, I headed out to meet with a good friend for lunch. Now, we Israeli people, we're very extrovert. And Dutch people are much more introvert. And this friend I'm gonna go and meet at 12, he's Dutch. And I really freaking missed him. I'm feeling like I wanna give him a big hug when I see him, but I don't think that he's gonna be very comfortable with it. I arrived 10 minutes earlier and waited. And then he arrived. Yes, I'm sorry. I just really missed you. And that was my Israeli way of showing it. So now you also know what to expect next time. We had lunch at an Indonesian restaurant. After which I headed to Amsterdam, where the movie was screening. The cinema where the movie was screening is called Pate Tuczynski. It's considered one of the most beautiful cinemas in the world. And for a reason. It was built in the 1920s with a beautiful mix of architectural styles. Being there filled with... <coughs> As I was saying, being there feels like you're in some sort of a luxurious theater. You are surrounded by so many shapes and so many spectators, it almost feels like you are yourself, the star. 
This is undoubtedly my favorite cinema in the world. So, to my right was sitting a lady who was eating a freaking shawarma. Who the frick sneaks in a shawarma to the cinema? But the strange thing was that the lady to my left was eating a clementine. And there I was, sitting between these two conflicting aromas, literally wanting to puke, when the movie started. I got this comment from Metal Barcella, who wrote, Is this it? I was sure you were going to say more about the movie. Metal, be careful what you wish for. So, Three Identical Twins was an excellent movie, and probably one of the most well-deserved subject matters to appear on the festival. The beautiful story of triplets who didn't even know of each other's existence until the age of 19, when they were reunited, and the extremely dark reasons as to why it happened so late. Now, the movie in essence is divided into two. <laughs> what a creepy... So the movie in essence is divided into two. The first part in which they show you the reunion of the triplets. And this part is simply amazing. It's funny, it's joyful, it's happy, it's filled with excitement and laughter. And in terms of emotion, you really go high throughout the first part. You only keep on going higher. I'm so bad at these things. I need something stiff. I'll use a Dutch comic book of the history of Israel. And the second part of the movie is where they start investigating the reasons as to why they only met at the age of 19. And at that point the movie becomes extremely dark and extremely scary. And in terms of your emotions, you really fall down. So if you started here and you went all the way up here, on the second part you just go all the way down and then go even lower than where you started. And it's at this point, this slow point, that the movie makes an impact as a documentary, both emotionally and in terms of its significance to the world. And you end up watching the movie asking yourself many questions about life, about your surroundings and your family and your parents and your friends and their influence over you as a human being. The only reason I didn't give this movie a perfect score is its Hollywood-like qualities. Three Identical Twins has a huge production value, up to the point where it's just too polished. Some of the interviews are done in this beautifully lit studio, everyone is dressed so nicely and wearing makeup. Some of the events that had happened in the past are reenacted in the movie in this very Hollywood-like quality. It really feels at points like you're watching a movie in Hollywood. And this is all great, don't, don't get me wrong, but in the specific setting of a documentary, what I as the viewer expect to see is the actual reality and the actual truth of things and what they are. And this movie felt a tiny bit too polished for me to be able to profoundly connect with it. Okay, I don't want to reveal everything so as to keep you interested enough to actually watch the movie. So I'm gonna stop now and if you want to learn more then I'll put some links in the description below. Metal Zama speak! <laughs> okay, see you next time.